Probably 80 to 90% of our clients are in that situation where they're trying to close on it on the same day. They're trying to sell their house, they're trying to buy the new one, and the age-old question is, well, how do I go about doing that? How do, I, how do I get all my stuff out of my house into the new house? The truth of the matter is, there's not an easy answer. Um, it, it's it's going to be a little inconvenient regardless of how it goes down. What most of our clients will do is uh, get a pod so that they can tar start moving all of their stuff out of their house a, a long ways prior to closing. And uh, because what will happen is, is like for example, if you're closing both of your both your sale of your current house and the purchase of your new one on a Friday, you're going to want all of your stuff out of your current house by that Thursday night prior because you're going to want it out of there so that the buyer can come through and do a final walkthrough of the house and make sure it's in the condition that they expect it to be in to move in. And no different than you're going to want to do on your next house as well. Um, so typically it's going to be a scenario where you're moving stuff into a pod. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a deal where there's some moving companies that would maybe allow you, they, they'll come the day before, you do a shotgun deal, move everything into the moving truck and they'll allow you to keep it there overnight. Um, the, the one other uh, scenario that happens occasionally, but I always tell clients not to count on this, but if you're moving into a vacant house, the house that you're purchasing is vacant, you might be able to work something out where you could store stuff in that garage prior to closing. You're, you're not going to be doing it every year, so you know you just buckle down and get it done. Feel free to call us anytime or click on coreydavis.com.